Hey my loves, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikita. If you are new here, we do all things home and I'm especially excited because we are finally kicking off the 2024 fall decorating series here on my channel. So I'm super excited to be getting started. So for part one of this decorating series, we are going to be decorating my kitchen for today for fall. I absolutely love starting in the kitchen for fall mainly because I'm always in there literally making everyone's meals, eating, et cetera, et cetera. It really is the heart of our home. Anytime that space is organized, it just, uh, it brings me so much peace. I'm able to think straight, literally. So I'm really excited to show you what I have in store for today. As you know, our home is a work in progress, but one thing's for sure, my husband and I agreed on, the kitchen is a space that we have to absolutely love. So kudos to my husband because he handled installation all by himself. I only did the hardware and helped him pick up the butcher's block really, but he really, really did his thing with his craftsmanship and him trusting me with the majority of the design. I am so excited. So with that being said, in order to appreciate what you have now, sometimes it's good to look back in the past just to see how far you've come. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into today's video. Okay, love, so here is a glimpse of our kitchen and what it used to look like over by this huge window. I always knew this area had so much potential. As you can see, it's come such a long way. We still want to tile a bit over here and possibly add a floating cabinet the same height as the pantry or some floating shelves the same color as the walls. However, I'm still debating, but I absolutely love the progress. The most recent update would have to be adding this Smart Wings Woven textured shade it's absolutely gorgeous it brings such a warmth to the entire kitchen and i used to wrestle with the blinds over here before but not anymore so i'm so grateful for that collab i'll leave everything down below it is raining so i left it all the way up and now for this corner i am adding some micro art this beautiful arch frame with a neutral print i'll leave everything down below and then i'm adding in this gorgeous tray from tj maxx for only 7.99 i've had this for such a long time and then over that, my new home goods find, which was such a McGee and Co. dupe. I absolutely love it. I'm adding that as well. And then I'm adding in this stunning butter dish from Hobby Lobby. Such a great price, another McGee and Co. dupe. And I love that it mimics the countertops on the opposite side. And then I'm just adding one deep wine eucalyptus stem to that vessel. And I just love this punch of color. It's so needed. I got about six of those from Hope Goods one year. And then this cutting board from Hobby Lobby just to hide that outlet and kind of serve as a backing for our little tea station. Also those tea cups that I've had out since spring from Ikea as well as these tea stirs absolutely gorgeous detail on these now for spring I had like the leaf end poking out but for the fall I'm just having like the end of the spoon showing and then also this tea container that holds all of our tea bags and to the opposite end I have these containers holding our flour and sugar with the brass scoops I just love having that readily available and I love having this clear for prep space for baked goods Again, considering adding some more warmth, I am adding in this new recent pickup from Amazon, this beautiful runner. I absolutely love the detail and color on this. It's super soft. Oh my gosh, it does this area so much justice. I will link it down below. They have different size options. It's machine washable, and then you can kind of hang it out to dry. It is so soft. Like seriously, I'm very, very impressed. Now I'm going to be adding some fall touches to this side of the kitchen, leaving out things that I leave out already to keep things functional, of course. So I have some cookbooks over there. I did pop in a coffee table book. I kind of snuck that in, but um, I'm also adding in this beautiful Walmart must have such a great price and then these stems that I've recently shown as well again with that deep color that I'm obsessed with for this fall and then just like that I bent the bottom of the stem and I'm using that as a bookend And 
over to this corner of the kitchen, I'm using that cookbook stand to hide the Alexa and also our garlic container. But I absolutely love styling with a cookbook stand because it's just an easy, beautiful way to display cookbooks or recipes you may want to try. And it also hides things so well. So I popped that in and left it open to this page. I do want to try that. And I feel like the cinnamon swirl bread kind of went with this season as well. And now for a little pop of fall, I'm adding in this super cute jute braided pumpkin that I got from the Target dollar spot. It's so cute, brought in a lot of texture. For the kitchen towels, I love to pair a neutral print with something a little playful. So these pumpkins worked perfectly. The colors were spot on. It was from the Target dollar spot. And then the neutral print one was a recent pickup from Hobby Lobby. And now for the opposite side under our paper towel holder, I have our pesto and mortars. And the little marble one, I've just got some coarse salt that I grounded up. That way it's just easily readily available for me to sprinkle on some food. And then I popped in some apples in the other one. Again, just kind of bringing that color all throughout the kitchen for this fall. And then here for this corner, I love popping in an arrangement. I'm using that pot that I got from at home a long time ago. This used to hold our olive tree and then using what I have. So I love that, absolutely love the color. And then I'm also popping in about four of these deep red wine eucalyptus stems and I bent some of them just for a variation of height to look a bit more natural. And then for a candle moment, that candle holder was a threshold uh, fine a couple years back as well as this beautiful amber glass pumpkin candle. Oh, it smells so good you guys i think it's cider and something but it smells absolutely good i can't wait for them to bring out some more this year but i love how i kept things functional but again stylish and it looks lived in uh, i'm just enjoying it so 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 much and i really do hope that you enjoyed today's styling And that is a wrap for today for part one of our fall 2024 kitchen decorate with me. I am so happy that it is ready for the season. If you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to like, comment, and share. If it's too soon for you, that's okay. You can save this video down below. And when you're decorating, you can go ahead and play this video again and we can decorate together. Let me know your favorite part. Let me know if you've enjoyed. And don't forget to give this video a big, huge thumbs up. It really does help to support this channel. I hope you all have a phenomenal week. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.